Hey, new sponsor alert, go ahead and check out, go buy MMO.com for your cheapest and fastest Mad 19 coins on Xbox and PS4. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 6% discount. Welcome back everybody, it is your boy Texas back on the Madden and we got ourselves some new standouts for the month of November. These low key are my favorite token sets to do because the value that they provide for training and the value they cost to do is Probably the best we got in Madden right now. Look at the flashback sets, look at the heavyweight sets, look at the veteran sets. And by the way, those sets are no longer gonna be updated in Madden. I know, I don't know why. I'll we'll talk about it later on. But these ones, at least for October, were really, really good. Cause they went one elite token, one silver, and you got one gold, which was under 100,000 coins in value. And if you're lucky enough to pull a 90 overall or better, you got really good value back in training. Like obviously you're gonna sell the car for profit, but you got really good CPT because you spent 100,000 coins on a 91 overall who quick sell for 3,200 training, which is really, really good. So I'm hoping they didn't mess these sets up. Please don't add an extra elite token to these sets because if they do, bro, I'm gonna be upset. I got six elite tokens. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these packs and hope that we're going to get lucky and pull one of the new standouts that came out today. We got the Baker Mayfield. We got the Justin Tuck, who I want on my team right now. And we got a bunch of other players that are really solid that we're not going to be getting any more flashback veteran or heavyweight updates in Madden no more. I don't know why they decided to go ahead and change it up because I thought they were going to update it at least one more time when we got to December 14th, which is the next series update. But they don't even have it in Madden right now, so a lot of you guys may not know about that. It says, trading your Mutt tokens to unlock 89 plus overall player, right? It says, new players will be added to the set regularly. I can't pronounce that word. But they decided to announce on stream that they're not going to be updating these sets anymore, which is unfortunate because people love these sets. Now, hopefully what they do, since they're not going to be updating these players anymore into these particular sets, they decide after December 14th to go ahead and make these sets a little cheaper to do. I'm not about to be out here spending this many coins on a set that has not had any updated players. Makes no sense to me. So hopefully they take that into consideration before the next uh, series update and actually make them a little bit more cheaper since they don't want to put the time into it. So what everybody's speculating they're doing going forward on Mondays since it's December and around this time last year, the motivators came out, everybody's speculating that we're going to be getting motivators or signature series players as our new token. So that's going to be kind of fun to see. We should find out tomorrow, hopefully. Now, probably best to go ahead and save your elite tokens today instead of doing these sets and wait because if we do indeed get motivators, last year there were four elite tokens. They cost four elite tokens to get one motivator, which was very expensive. So if we get those tomorrow and they give really good boost to certain things that we want, a lot of the values might go up. So probably best to go ahead and make your elite tokens today and then, uh, not sell because you can't sell. Make your elite tokens today and then do that set tomorrow. And if it does not come out tomorrow, you can still go ahead and knock out the November standout set. So I'm looking forward to motivators. I kind of wanted to spend money on that promo, but last year there was some weird like thing they said where these cards are a limited time and because they're a limited time, you can't actually power up these cards because of blah, blah, blah. But this year, since they got the trading option, it seems like they can just probably drop them in packs as well. But I guess token sets is more accessible to everybody, not just guys that spend money, but if it's money or if it's going to be through a token set, I'm cool with either way. And we'll just save our points for the Christmas promo. Praise the mutt gods, man. I would have been super salty this thing took at least two tokens. I, I was I was like, EA's gonna mess this up, right? They're gonna make this more expensive. They know a lot of us are turning our training into tokens and they're gonna get mad about that and make this more expensive, which is what they do with the flashback set. So. It looks like we can still make a little bit of coin here. So if we spend like 60K on the elite token, we'll just say 15, 15, so 30K right there. Then we'll go, so about 100,000 coins. 100K, that's not bad. Especially for a 90 plus, like that's not bad at all because you can still just quick sell it and get 100K for 2200 training, which is again, really good value. So let's go ahead and knock this set out. We got six tokens, doing six of these packs. I want Justin Tucker, at least one of them, so. Let's hope the mutt gods are on our side today. All right, got the packs made. Let's go ahead and pull these bad boys. See the new flash, hopefully. I don't want to see the old one. You know, it's probably like a 90 still. All right, so what overall is this? Who is this right here? Yeah, 90 overall, Leighton Vander Esch. So 91 looks to be the new animation. That's still not bad value. Like, that's still not bad value. 88 speed, linebacker, 80 strength, 84 block shed. Now, if you guys played Madden last year for the rookie premieres, you end up doing Leighton Vander Esch's set. You have him on your team right now. So really solid user, man. 6'4", 88 speed. This might be the new Anthony Barr. I mean, you can't really catch, but, like, I mean, who cares? Like, it's a 6'4", 88 speed linebacker, man. So... 
and I got him for right. I'm not free, but I got him for the low low. So we're going to end up probably quick selling this guy for training. Next football outside of Let me get the flash. Let me get the flat. All right, no, no flash. No flash. No flash. 90 overall Phil Lindsay. Still a really good value pool right there for CPT. So I'm, like I said, I live in Colorado Springs and, uh, Yo, Denver fans are super excited about this guy. I don't even know. Wasn't he undrafted? Like, yo, and he, and he called Stroll Davis where his number. So this dude, 93 speed with 87 loose and 87 break tackle. So a really fast halfback. Nice change of pace back if you guys got Ricky Williams out there. I got to get out there and pretty much get to the edge a little bit quicker than Ricky. Uh, Lindsey, man, like the Broncos theme team, if you can get him out there with the what 50 out of 50. And then you get a John Madden coach as well, which <laughs> don't have 97 speed. Yo. And then can he can he get sprinter? Can he get sprinter? Let me, let me find some. Can he get sprinter? No, he cannot. If you get, if you get a guy sprinter, but that might be the first nine nine speed have back in Madden. Yo, two packs, two dubs, really. Like it's not the new stuff, but it's still two dubs. Oh, what the hell? Did they switch my packs again? Like what are we? How do we? I was like, wait, what is this? Is there a fantasy pack? Is there a fantasy pack? All right, you get an eighty eight Stevie Nelson. This was supposed to be the Bears middle linebacker Roquan Smith, but. EA and the football outsider guys, like he just got a card, so no, forget what we just said. You know, he had a really good season, a really good month of November. So I'm just like, come on, man, give it to the card. Nobody wants Stevie Nelson. Like, come on, he's 90 speed cornerback. He's unusable. That's our that's our bad pull. That's our bad pull. So we got three packs pulled, two good ones, one bad one. We're not getting a new flash at all. Like, we are not. <laughs> we got two more chances. Though. We got Mario Addison right here, 80 speed defensive end, 93 from Ness move. I have no idea how he has this card. I watched the Panthers play. They don't get a pass rush at all. So, yeah, he had three sacks. And I feel like those sacks all came in one game. <laughs> I don't think those came, like, seven tackle for losses and three sacks plus the tackle. Yeah, I think they just decided to give him the card. I guess good shit for Panthers theme teams, but, yeah, that Panthers pass rush is pretty pathetic. All right, two more packs. We got two more chances at Justin Tucker, and it does not look like we're going to come close. Another Mario Addison in the last and final Football Outsiders is going to be... Lucked out, bro. Cody Sensenball. Mm. All right, that was bad. <laughs> it started out strong, and then it ended. It went all the way down, man. Eight, nine, you got two cornerbacks? What? Really? Really? They gave us two cornerbacks, and both these guys are unusable. So right now, you can go ahead and get Leighton Vander Esch and Phil Lindsay for, what, 100,000 coins? So if you guys need some training, now is the time to go ahead and pick some of these players up. All right, so here's the Baker Mayfield, who's also a really good CPT as well. Yo, all right, cool. So Baker Mayfield, I want to compare him right now to the Patrick Mahomes because I feel like Browns get preferential treatment at EA Madden Sports because for some reason, these cards are really good for no reason. All right, so it's probably safe to assume, right, that... We know Mahomes is a better quarterback than this Baker is, right? We know Mahomes is a better quarterback than Baker. We know the thresholds go 80, 85, 90. So because thresholds exist, what you're saying here is they're the same quarterback. Other than the fact Mahomes can get a throw deep threshold once he go ahead and add go deep to him, Baker Mayfield cannot. I think the best thing to do is get 89. I'm just like, come on, man. Like, what are we doing here? Like, Baker Mayfield is not a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes, but the Browns get all the damn love. So my guess is he has all the throwing stats. And the, what else does he have? I know he has, like, really good break sack as well. Um, yeah, I just, I don't get it, man. These, I don't get it. So I guess Mahomes is being held up because he has better spin and juke move. That's why his salary cap is a little bit higher. But, yo, if you guys want a solid quarterback, this Baker Mayfield is going to be a, not a budget beast. 100,000 coins, 130,000 coins is still a lot. But, yo, this is a really good quarterback. Like, dumb, like, really effing good for what the price is right now. Like, Mahomes is going for 300 plus K right now, and Baker Mayfield's half that. And they're the same quarterback, essentially. So, if you guys need a quarterback, man, pick up Baker Mayfield ASAP. Here's Justin Tucker. I wanted to pull this guy 500k pull if you go ahead and get lucky and get this guy out of a pack. I have Jason Myers right now, but I think I'm gonna kick him. I'm gonna keep kick him. I'm gonna keep him from now just because it makes a lot of sense as my game's kind of walking out right there. Uh, because I don't feel like paying an extra 200 or 300,000 coins for Justin Tucker for two extra kick power. Don't think that's worth it. Those are the players I wanted to pull for today, but I could not get lucky enough to get one of them, which is all good though, man. We still got some really solid players to go ahead and mess with and sell or quick sell. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been your boy Texas. Post it down in the comment section below what you guys pulled today out of your November standout packs. Let me know if you guys got Justin Tucker, and I will see you guys in the next one. They say money came by your happiness, but I swear to God, it's a good down pay. Tryna stuff so many binges in my pocket, you would swear that I was out here trying to drown Franklin.
job. I was bred in the slums, got fed up with corns. Now you don't play a pound cake. Told me when it was a root of all evil, but I swear to God, I ain't never found safe.